So I'm going to explain um, what was talked about in the last video that was shown to you, but how would we set this up from the beginning? Because um, there's a few things that he sort of brushed over. Um, in the extensions tab, this is where you need to be installing the P5 link. You're looking for the P5 VS code. Um, you can see that I already have it installed. There's a few other things that I have installed, but it doesn't actually matter. Um, all that matters is that you have that P5 extension installed there. You'd go here. Um, you could open up a folder, but you don't have to. You can go up to um, View Command Palette, or you can see it's Shift Command P if you're using a Mac. That opens up the window, and that's going to take you to what you're looking for. Now, I have it here because I've already been trying it out. But if you're looking to create it, you just do P5. Um, and then you get the options that are there. So there's the Create P5 Project, Install a Library, Open Live. Um, all of those things are there for you to use. So I'm going to create a P5 Project there. It's going to give me this window. I'm going to go into my OneDrive. I'm going to go into my spot where I have everything organized because like you, I'm going to make sure that everything's where it needs to be. Um, and I could have like a sample project. I'm going to create a new product here. I'm going to say um, Mr. Adam Drenth Final Project. Okay, so that I have something that Mr. Drenth can actually understand. I'm going to create that. And then I'm going to say open. And that's going to create the new window for me for what I'm looking for. Okay, now when I do that, it creates everything that we would have in a standard um, P5. There's the index, there's the basic sketch, and there's the style. Um, just to help allow you to confirm this, if you click on the little orange in the sketch here, you can see there's the index, which is our HTML. It's all there, the sketch, and the CSS. Okay, so all the basics are now been copied over into this project. It does a few other things where it automatically puts in these libraries and does a little bit of a JSON configuration stuff. So it's doing some backend things to make things work really nicely for us. Um, we don't have to understand what they are, but understand that it's doing a bunch of configurations to make everything work. Um, and then from here, um, we can do it from whatever file, but if you want to run this in the web browser, you have to go to the HTML file and you would go open with live server as we normally would. And it should pop open over here. There it is. Okay, and there's my sketch. So, just to prove that this is doing what it's supposed to, I could do a fill that's black. Um, I could do a rectangle, and let's make this right in the middle, and we'll make it 50 by 50, so it's a square. And when I save that, there you go, there's my square. So it's working the way that I want it to. I could make it 800 by 800 if I'd like. So I can make it bigger, and then we can see there. So this is the canvas, and I don't want to blow, I don't want everyone to think like this is the only thing you can have. Remember, we have access to the HTML here. So if I wanted to, I could put in H1 tag saying like, my amazing board game. Right? So I can add that in there, and it loads it all there. So. I have access to all of that stuff if I want to go in here and I want to change things. I can um, add in things, whatever I want. I could make the body's background color become uh, red. Even Mr. Drab can still eventually, every once in a while, be reminded of things. There you go. Ooh. Save. There. So we can do whatever we want in order to make this work the way that we want. So we can build other features into our actual game itself um, and what we're actually trying to work with. Okay, so CSS, HTML, JavaScript, it's all there. If you want, you can add in additional functions. Um, Okay, so I can create in new functions and I can have them doing access from within the script if I'd like. All of that stuff is possible for me to use. So I could create a button here if I wanted to and have it call 
call my actual um, one second, buddy. So I called mine my new function. And here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to alert. Ta da! Just to show that it works. Save it, run it, ta da! Uh, and then I would hope my button is. Where did my button go? Oops, if I put some text in there. There's my button. Click on it. Ta da! So. Everything that we've learned through the entire year in terms of code all applies here. And I want to make that absolutely explicit. So you can do whatever you want. Um, p5.js also allows you to access the DOM. Um, and I'll post some videos that show you how you can work with that too. So we have all of these things for you to work with. Um, they're amazing. They're awesome. And feel free to use them to help you with your board game. You are not limited to just the canvas anymore. You are free to build whatever you want and become a full-fledged front-end um, front de developer and make it make it work and make it the way, the way you want to. All right, um, so continue to work on your projects. At this point, you're gonna be working on it and building up in stages and uh, keep up the great work, everyone.